Welcome to day four of the Whiskey Advent Calendar, a Whiskey Advent Calendar curated by the Whiskey Tribe, uh, which is uh, which we did it on Facebook originally, um, and they created a list of the top 24 whiskeys, and then we ordered them in a good consumption order, and then we are drinking them together one day at a time. And the goal was to have whiskeys that anybody could get their hands on, relatively speaking. So today, a true classic. Lafroig 10. Now, if you know Lafroig, or you know me, you know it's one of my favorites. Um, it's just a true entire character of a classic Isla Scotch, right? The, the one island off the southwest coast of uh, Scotland. And... Um, while Isla Scotch can cover all kinds of territory, from unpeated and sherry sweet to heavy brine, Laphroaig sits squarely in the territory of the dominant, mossy, briny uh, richness of a really peaty uh, seaside Isla Scotch. And I, it's, it's amazing. Uh, and it definitely uh, creates lovers and haters, <laughs> which they know and they understand in their marketing. Now... Um, two things. One, uh, I've met uh, the rep for Lafroig uh, probably four or five times. His name is Simon Brooking. Uh, maybe one of the most highly regarded brand reps in the entire whiskey industry. And uh, and I asked him the three questions. I didn't get a chance to hear back from him before we shot this video. But you, it's not hard to find Simon Brooking on social media. Find him. Follow him. If you have not gone to an event... For Lafroig or any of the brands like Akintoshin that Simon Brooking works with, you need to. You will thank me later. It's worth it. All right, so to the Lafroig. Day four of the Whiskey Tribe Advent Calendar. Oh, man. What can you say about Lafroig that hasn't already been said? Especially Lafroig 10. Ah, oh, that barbecue burnt in brisket, moss, salt water. But backed by this really floral, fruity note that, man, once you're acclimated to the heavy smoke and the heavy brine, which you have to be, behind it, it's very fresh and light and it's not overly densely sweet. Mm. So musically, <laughs> what it reminds me of is classic, like, Southeast Texas, Louisiana slide blues. And what I mean is that there is is this sort of slight low note, but it's mostly gritty, and it reminds me of when you have a really open slack key guitar and you drag that slide up on the lowest string that and it has a slight growl to it and it has that resonance you know almost um uh it could be like on a resonator an actual metal the metal you know resonator guitar like a nashville uh like a resophon anyway so it's got that low note low string slide growl And it's got this middle note that's like a really gr great, rich tenor voice with a little bit of grit in it, but that low slide dirt and the rich tenor and, and it's blues that makes you feel good. It's gritty blues that's not dark and heavy and melancholy. It's gritty blues that you sing and you just smile and go, yeah. And it's done sitting on a flat boat on the swamps that border the Gulf of Mexico. And so you get that combination of musty swamp flats with like the coastal warm water Gulf of Mexico brine. Oh man, yeah, that'll do. Oh man. So 
These videos we're going to post, uh, and you'll notice they're very informal and no real editing other than I chopped the ends. And um, Terry Dolan and I are posting them to the various social media accounts. So we're doing the Facebook group, Instagram, Reddit, and they're being uploaded to YouTube, make it easier to link to, but they're unlisted on YouTube. So you have to go through social media to get directly to it. And um, this is just our chance to try to drink together things that everybody could get their hands on, relatively speaking, and um, and a chance to take a break during the month of December as we crawl in on the crush of the holidays and just appreciate some good classic whiskey. Um, we don't do it enough. As we get closer to Christmas, I keep getting reminded of how thankful I am to have found this kick-ass community of people and stumbled into a group that by and large is gracious and kind and enthusiastic about all of the things that we love about whiskey and uh, has just the right amount of ball busting humor. You're my people. Um, I appreciate the chance to be involved in something as cool as this. And uh, Lafroig is a great way to end this batch of videos next time you see me um, tomorrow probably different jacket because I'll have shot a different batch of videos. Um, I'm trying to do three or four at a time. So you guys, I appreciate you until tomorrow. May your crazy stay this side of legal and may you return before we have time to miss you. Cheers.